Hello, we're back again for another day of Lucy's Show and Tell. Lucy, what do you have to show us today? It's my puppet. It's new. It's new? I made it. Why don't you show everybody the puppet's pretty face? How does your puppet work? You put your hand in and you open up the mouth and when you close it, you have to bend your fingers down. It's pretty technical. Are you sure you can handle that? Sure. All right, show us how it works. Are you ready? Make your puppet say something. Hello. I'm Poofy. You're Poofy? Is that his name, Poofy? No. What's the puppet's name? Kichi. Kichi? Yeah. Oh, no. She fell. Owie. Owie. Does your puppet have health insurance? No, it just stays together. Well, it does. That's good. The best health plan is to never, ever get hurt. Immortality is the way to go. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Does your puppet have one of those things that calls for help if he falls down? No. No. I'm not going to tickle you. I was going to make you sit up. You're trying to fall over. Why don't you show everybody the puppet's face? You're looking at the face. They want to see the face. Yeah, let's make the puppet face out with the googly eyes. How many eyes does your puppet have? Two. Two. They're googly. They are googly eyes. What? What's good about googly eyes? They Google one when you tip them. When you tip them, they look cool like this. They do. Google eyes are good at Googling. It, it gives you an advantage out in nature. If you're out there on the savanna and a, a lion's coming for you and your eyes start Googling all over the place, the lion doesn't know where you're going. It's a safety thing. Can you make your eyes Google? Yeah, I like this. Well, make your eyes Google, not the puppet's eyes. Can you make your eyes go all crazy? No. No? You want to see my crazy eyes? They weren't very crazy. I can't do it either. Puppet is better than me at it. So what's Puppet's name again? Did you forget your Puppet's name? Yes. You did? Your Puppet's going to be offended. He's listening. Is it a he or is it a she? It's a she. It's a she. Oh, I guess she does have long hair. What color is her hair? Rainbow color. Rainbow color. I wish I had rainbow color hair. You're not gold, so you don't get that. Boys can have rainbow color hair, too. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they can. I can have magical, long, flowing hair like Rapunzel if I want, and you can't stop me. Oh, mm. yeah? If I kick you and cut off your hair? Yeah, you, that, you... that would stop me, I guess. Don't kick me and cut off my hair. That is considered impolite in every culture in the world. Don't cut other people's hair, and definitely don't kick them. Puppet wouldn't kick people, would she? Because it doesn't have any feet. Because that is a fair point. She's not going to kick anybody without feet. Because it's, a, because it's a bag. Well, why didn't you get a bag with feet? <laughs> I like bags with feet. Those are, I only use bags with feet, in fact. You should reconsider. It's on your nose. Oh, you're going to make me sneeze. I'm allergic <laughs> to rainbow hair. Everybody knows that. I don't know. Yeah, you do know that. What do puppets eat? Um, nothing. They don't eat anything. Isn't your puppet going to get hungry? No, it doesn't know how to eat because it's going to get home messy. Oh, so it's chosen cleanliness over eating to survive. I see how it is. That's why, that's why I'm a baggy guy to put food in me. Yeah, you can put food in the bottom, I guess. Just put it in there directly like a sack lunch. And then... Would you ever take a sack lunch in your puppet? And then it drops it all the way to the mouth. Yeah, it'd be going backwards. It'd come out the mouth. It'd go in the bottom and come out the mouth. That would that would not be very pleasant. That'd be icky. We don't want to do that, do we? So we have to put it in a container in a lunchbox. Yeah, okay. I guess, I guess the puppet's out of luck. I guess all the food's going in the lunchbox. Does your puppet know any tricks? No. No, not any? Not even one itsy bitsy little trick. What? Yeah, is he hair dancing? No. Every time he does tricks, he falls. Oh, he's got to or she's got to stop falling. That's bad for her health. Although we already established the bag is functionally immortal and immune to falls, so I guess what am I worried about? I should be worried about myself here. That bag is gonna be just fine. Look, it's sitting on a chair. Yeah, it is sitting on a chair. Don't sit on your hair. You'll pull it out of the follicles. That's very bad for your hair. 
No, it's just for ten. It's just for daddy. Yeah, the bag might be immortal, but that hair is not. You have to protect rainbow hair at all costs. I almost called it unicorn hair, but everyone knows unicorn hair is completely white. I already told you I'm allergic to rainbow hair. You're going to make me break out in hives. I'm going to collapse, and if I fall over, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm not a bag, so I'm not immune to falling. I will be hurt. You can't just grab my face if I'm about to sneeze. That's not how sneezes work. Yes, it is. supposed to say bless you, not throat choke. There's a difference. All right, I think everybody's seen enough of Puppet. You have any no. closing? No, you need to see more of Puppet. All right, well, thank you for joining us for another exciting day of Lucy's show and tell. I think we all learned something. I think some of us got our faces grabbed to stop a sneeze. And we're all a little better for it. All right, join us next time. Yum, yum, yum. I ate your hair. No, not my hair. Yeah.